Hey guys, <coughs> welcome back to our match with video. If you haven't told from uh, me losing 30% of my health, I am actually sick right now. So, if you uh, hear me hooting and holler like a alpha silverback gorilla, uh, comment below how cool it is because I'm sick. But um, anyway, so we're going to get into this video. Now, this video is an update for match powers and an idea I want to share with you. And of course, this thing too, this drawing that I made. Um... So, I just want to say, uh, let's think first, I had kind of, like, already made this video before. It's It was that one video, like, I think it was, like, the most previous Match Powers one, but it was, like, uh, it was, like, that, that video where I was, like, you know, like, oh, I'm gonna make this new game mode for Match Powers because I think it would fit it more. Now, I'm basically gonna be expanding on that just a little bit more, I'm basically just bringing it up again. But, um, <coughs> anyway, so... Get to this one. Let's get into the you know the drawing first before we get into the actual main attraction, the little update. So, let's begin on who this is, why did I make it, and why is this so cool? But anyway, this the main guy in the middle one, that is Destroyer, which I think is probably my favorite character that I've ever created, just because he's super dope. Look at how the cool he is. He is the alpha. Look at him. So. Dest well, he's not colored, of course, I didn't finish it. But, uh, Destroyer, it, I'm not really gonna get into it, this isn't that video, but Destroyer is a tyrant, which tyrant is basically a species of universal guardians in space and all that good, and, yeah, so this is Destroyer, which I think, I think he came out actually, like, really good. He has, like, a lot of armor and all that good, so, you know, he's that, he's not a robot, just in case you're wondering, I don't know why I brought that up, but he's not. But anyway, he has a ton of armor and all that good stuff. He's got them big hot dog finger hands, so, you know, pretty cool, pretty cool. He has his, you know, his head up there at that one tiny eye and all that good. <coughs> but, um, you can't really see his feet. I'm not that type of guy. I don't got that. But anyway, well, also, though, because he got cut off. But, uh, so this, this on the side. Uh, basically, this drawing is supposed to be, like, Destroyer, and, like, his, like, I don't know, I don't know what to call these, but, like, stuff in the background that, like, fit, like, like, he has a connection with, you know what I mean? I don't know, I don't know, I don't really know what the, it's, uh, it's called, but, um, but basically the drawing, like, the Destroyer is going to be colored, and everything else is going to be, like, black and white, so, you know, that'd be pretty cool. But anyway, so this big thickums right here is actually Destroyer, this is extinction which is his strongest form and which again this isn't that video but basically this thing is so powerful some could say it solos your favorite verse but anyway so there is extinction you got his head right there and then here's just like design that's like this area on him and this is actually the real size when destroyer gets into this version he grows so much bigger and this becomes him so, he also kind of has, like, a pupil, because, like, I wanted to make it look like it's looking at him, so, you know, pretty cool. But anyway, so these two little shadowlings <coughs> on the side, uh, not really as much detail or anything, but this is his wife, Viridian, and this is his daughter, which I don't have a name for yet, but yeah. And also, there's a difference between female and male tyrants, uh, females don't have horns or anything, so... You know, that's also why it looks like this. It's also why, because he has big jaw, huge chin, as you can see. This is massive chin, while theirs is pretty small. But, um, anyway, so that is basically the drawing that I made. Destroyer, super mega cool. It's not done yet, of course. But, um, I just wanted to show it because this video, I have nothing really to show. So, I just thought I would put this here so you can look at it while I'm talking. But, anyway, let's get into the actual part of the video, which is the update I had for, uh, match powers, oh my gosh, anyway, so, I've gotten a few comments being like, oh, yo, what well, basically has to do with match powers, <coughs> and, uh, I haven't really been doing much match powers, just because, like, there's not that much left to do, uh, all it is, it's just, like, the game crafter thing, which, that's, like, you know, I'm, like, trying to get someone to help me with it, and I'm, like, still, like, you know, working on that, whatever, but anyway, uh, there's not really, like, that much to do four bash bars, but now there is something. Now I can work on sales and match bars at the same time, 
don't worry, I'm not gonna like shift over to one more than the other one. Although I kind of like already did, but that's because Mesh Bowser doesn't really have that much to do. But anyway, so so <coughs> Mash Bowers is a card game with a dice mechanic in the game, instantly making it luck based. And the dice mechanic is really unique. It's like the main part of the game. Without it, it's not matched by ours. So, it, let's, let's rephrase that. It's a card game. It has the same layout as a competitive strategic card game, even though it's luck-based, and there's not that much strategy, and it's more decision-making. Oh, no, there's a bit of strategy. But, like, you know, right there, it doesn't add up. Right there, Match Bowers is a puzzle piece that fits in the spot, but it doesn't match the picture. You know what I'm saying? So, this, uh, again, this is, like, very similar to the other video I made, but I am going to be adding a new, I'm going to call it, like, a game mode, because if I, if I said, uh, I'm going to be changing match powers to be more of, like, this, then that means that the original way to play doesn't exist, but I'm still going to keep it, so I'm just calling it, like, a new game mode. Basically, there's going to be two ways to play Bash Bowers. One is going to be the the card game like one that's just like you know you're just playing for fun, and then the second one's going to be more of like a board game, tabletop game, tactical board game. This is also Magic: The Gathering, by the way. Like game because I feel like it fits that more. So that means that uh that. Uh, depending on how good I succeed in this, Match Powers is probably going to change into that, which is probably going to change the way, like, I, I, I don't know, I don't even know, I don't even know, but I, I mean, I, I, this is like, this is just my idea, I haven't actually started making progress on it, but my idea is that I want to make Match Powers a more, uh, like a game that fits its... Uh, or its characteristics, like its dice mechanic, because right now Mash Bowers is in a strategic card game layout, which it does not fit, and I want to change that. So, but actually, let, let me say this first. Uh, and, and I'm doing all this because, like, you know, and like I, I made like Celestis to be more strategic, and I said like, oh, this be my most ultimate TCG, which I mean, yeah, man, the Celestis is a pretty darn good TCG, you know. Yeah, that's very good. But honestly, I don't think I ever said this, and if I said the opposite in older videos, it's because I'm the master of hypocrites. But uh, I actually think Match Bowers actually has more potential than any of my other games, including Celestis. The reason why I don't feel like it has ever reached that. And I don't think, well, no, no, that doesn't currently is because it's in the wrong format. It's in a card game when it's not supposed to be a card game. If I changed that and made the way you played everything more appropriate with how the game is played out, that would be perfect. Because Master Powers, there's no competitivity. You can't, you can't play competitive with it. Oh, yo, bro, that's like really cool. I got super RNG. Like, you can't be competitive with that. I don't know why I did that. But you can't do that. But. Let's actually compare it to <coughs> Magic <coughs> the Gathering and Dungeons and Dragons made by Wizards of the Coast. Sponsor to Hasbro. Hey, yo. Speaking of sponsors, I'm up for, uh, you know, I'm up for the... Oh, I forgot the word. Anyway, so I just ruined the joke. But, um, so let's look at that. So Magic the Gathering is a very strategic card game in a card game layout, which if you don't know what that means, it's basically just like, you know, it has a deck, draw cards, you have a field, you play creatures, you play spells using a mana or whatever for cards. Basically a card game, right? right, right. And then Dungeons and Dragons, which uh, I know that they have like character sheets. They might have cards. I'm not a professional, you know. I'm just saying that what like I know. But it's just like a role-playing uh, tabletop game. I don't really think it's like a board game. Is it really a board game? I don't really think it's a board game. It's more of like a tabletop game, role-playing thing. That, like, you roll dice for almost, like, every single action that you do. So, this means that you... I don't... I, I might be wrong, but I don't really think that you could play Dungeons & Dragons competitively. I don't think you can, just because I mean, there's just way too much luck-based stuff. You can't do it. And most of the strategy in it is... Uh, <laughs> what the heck? Is decision-making. 
I don't really like strategy. It's just, well, I guess not a strategy, but it's decision-making. That is what it mostly is, which is different than Magic the Gathering being synergy-like strategic stuff, which card games have. And that is what, what the heck is this? Oh, and that is what Sail the Seas has. But Mass Buyer has that decision-making thing, but it's in the format of a card game. You see what I'm saying? It does not defeat so, I have to take puzzle piece and put it back in box and return it. No, I'm kidding. I have to take puzzle piece and I have to put it in the right spot. So, what I'm going to be doing, this is, the, I'm telling you, this is very similar to that one video that I made before. But, what I'm going to be doing is that I am going to be making match powers. Not like, I'm not changing it. I'm still going to keep the original way to play. And you can play that if you want. Because, you know, no point in getting rid of it. But... I'm going to be basically changing match powers into, I think, a... What is this called? A tactical board game. Or, you know, something that fits it more because it just doesn't really fit it. And did I say this? I don't think I said this. Uh, I don't know. I recorded this, like, two times, so I, I can't remember if I said it or not. But if I did, sorry. If I didn't, uh, here you go. But, uh, <coughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> that was way more aggressive than I thought. Anyway, so, match bars. Oh, wait, no. Sorry. So, I have, uh, Sehi and match bars, right? Right? So, I have Sehi and match bar. And, uh, Celsius is supposed to be, like, my most ultimate TCG because, you know, I wanted more strategy. I wanted more competitivity. That's why I made this bad boy. But... I didn't throw match bars away. It's still here. I just can't really do that much because, like I said earlier, there's not too much left to do. And so, because of this, Mash Bowers is kind of in the dust right now. But, I honestly think Mash Bowers has more potential than Celestia's. If I, uh, if I said opposite in my older videos, I'm King Hypocrite, Neil. But, um, yeah, so I think that if Mash Bowers was just in a better way, in a better format, right? Extinction, you agree. In a better format then I think Match Bowers could possibly be better than Sail the Seas. I mean, I mean <laughs> like, Match Bowers is basically not even going to be like a card game anymore. It's going to turn into like a board game, tabletop, like, game. Well, Sail the Seas is a card game, so technically you can't really compare them because it's two, like, different genres. But is that only for music? I don't know. I, I usually in card game stuff. But anyway, <coughs> so it's going to be more of like that. And that's what I want to do. So, I, I, I can work on Sail the Seas and Match Bowers at the same time. Don't you worry. I played Sail the Seas card game without the cards. I'll be fine. I'll do it. Don't you worry. Also, because, you know, I, I really like Match Bowers. I still like it as much as Sail the Seas. In fact, I actually like... I don't know. The dice mechanic is just so cool. So, I, I want to keep it. But anyway, yeah. I actually haven't thought of any progress for it yet. But, I, you know, I got to work on that, of course. But, yeah. I'm going to be making match powers into a game format that fits it more which it probably will turn into like a tabletop game like thing this also means that if it's ever sold or whatever uh it's gonna be it's gonna be different so it's it's going to be you know sold differently made differently all that. probably i mean most likely I would think so, because you could still use the cards to play the original one. But I don't even know if I'm ever even going to be selling it. I'm not really sure. Not really sure just how I can. I mean, yeah, Game Crafter, but, like, still, it's just, like, it's difficult for me. But, um, and then, like, on Untap, Untap's going to be kind of, like, a little bit different, too, I think. But I don't know, I think it should be, like, too bad. Because I'm going to make it so you can do it on Untap. It's not going to be, like, Dungeons and Dragons, where there's, like, a story. But there's probably going to be, like, a board and... Well, maybe. I, I'm trying to actually make it so that, like, isn't a board. So, like, it's just, like, the cards. But, like, it's, like, you know. I don't know. It's going to be pretty uh, pretty hard, but I can do it. So, anyway, that's that's this video. I feel like this is kind of a useless video. Just because I kind of, like, already explained this in a video before. But I wanted to share this with you. And because, you know, I wanted to just bring up that Match Bowers is still an amazing game that I love. And I know that, <coughs> that a lot of <coughs> you guys love, too. So... If you are part of my Silverback Gorilla uh, pack, then why don't you hit the red subscribe button? It should be, like, right here. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's, uh, 